Alrighty, a technician is testing an electric cable for a fault. The fault is equally likely to be anywhere in the 80 metre length of cable. So we've got 80 metre length. So it's likely to be anywhere from 0 to 80. And colour it in, colour it in. Uh, the area under has to be 1. That goes that way, that goes that way. So what goes here? If this here has to be 1, then and the base of the rectangle is 80, it has to be 180th. Okay? Sweet. Suppose the random variable x represents the distance of the fault from one particular end of the cable. Write down the probability um, density function. So we've got f of x equals two possible things, 1 over ac or 0, and that's where x is between 0 and 80, and that's everywhere else. Okay, so that's A. B, we have got the probability x being less than 22.5. So that's going to be between there and there. So we are looking for that shaded area. So what is the base of that rectangle? 22.5 is going to be the distance from there to there. And what's the height? So I can just divide by 80, same as times by 1 over 80. Okay, so that was B. C. What is the probability that the fault is more than 10 metres from either end? So for this one, you've got either end here and either end there. So we're looking at... Um, is more, what's the probability the fault is more than 10 metres from either end of the cable? So we're actually trying to find this shaded area here. Okay? Because those are the ends either side. So what are we going to write here? The probability, x is going to be in the middle, and what are my two ends? 10 and 17. So what's the width of my rectangle? 60. Yeah, 70 minus 10 is 60 and times 1 over 80, which is the same as divide by 80. Okay? Alrighty. D. The technician has tested the first 30 metres of the cable and has found the fault. What is the probability that the fault will be located in the next... 20 metre section that is tested. Oh, it's not found the fault. Okay. Okay, so the technician um, did the first 30 metres and didn't find the fault. So I'm actually going to say the fault's not there. So this is kind of like our new one, isn't it? So what's the probability um, that the fault, well, what is the probability that the fault will be located? in the next 20 metre section that is tested. So that's actually, next 20 metre section is between 20 and 50. So we're really looking at this area here out of that area. So what's our probability gonna be? So we've got the probability of it being between 30 and 50. Our base of our triangle is 20, but what's our new height of the triangle? The area of the total triangle. That there was, um, what's 80 minus 30? 50, so it's 1 50th, yeah? So 0 0.4, okay? Because you're sort of starting again, that, that's actually 1 50th because we're looking at that over that.
Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was DE. Another cable is 200 metres long and it also has one fault. It is connected to the first cable to form a cable 280 metres long. What is the probability that both faults are nearer the middle of the joined cable than to either end? Okay, so for this one I've got my cable and there's a join. So the first cable is how long? So we've got a 200 metre cable and it's joined to an 80 metre. And they're saying, what's the probability that both faults are nearer the middle of the joined cable than to either end? So nearer the middle, what's the middle? Is 140 in the middle? Yeah? And 70 and 210. So that's nearer the middle than at either end. Yeah? So we're going to have the 210 less the 70, which is 140, and over the whole length of the cable, which was 280. So we've got a half, 0 0.5. Okay? Okay, we got it wrong. So we're looking at the fact that it says both faults. No idea. Um, what that means, we just assumed that one fault on each side. So one fault here and the other fault here. So on this side, we looked at the fact that it was um, 130 metres out of the 200 metres, and on the other end, 10 metres out of the 80 metres, because it's 70 each side. Multiply them together, because when you've got the probability of one thing happening, probability of another one, you multiply just like going up the probability tree type thing, and we actually got the answer in the back of the book. So I would say it was sort of just read, it was hard to read it right, was the problem. Yeah.